War for the Planet of the Apes is the ninth release in one of the longest-running franchises in movie history. Based on the book by French author Pierre Boulle, Planet of the Apes came out in 1968. It starred Charlton Heston as Taylor, an astronaut stranded on a planet in the distant future, where apes are the dominant species, while humans are the oppressed and enslaved. The movie was a huge hit, both at the box office and with critics. It was also the first film ever in which a makeup artist received an honorary Oscar, which went to John Chambers. But Planet of the Apes is probably best remembered for its ending. God damn you all to hell. One of the most iconic images in movie history. Taylor discovering a ruined Statue of Liberty and realizing he's been on Earth all along. Planet of the Apes was followed by four sequels between 1970 and 1973. Beneath the Planet of the Apes, Escape From, Conquest Of, and Battle For. And while they all fared well at the box office, most received poor reviews, with the exception of Escape From the Planet of the Apes. Welcome, gentlemen, to the United States. Escape from the Planet of the Apes. After getting stuck in development hell, nearly 30 years later, in 2001, 20th Century Fox released a Tim Burton-directed remake of Planet of the Apes. Where am I? It was another financial hit, taking $360 million worldwide, according to Box Office Mojo. And while many critics said the film couldn't be compared to the original film, its visual effects were praised, as illustrated in this cameo from Heston. I don't have much time. Tell me about this human. A decade later, in 2011, Rise of the Planet of the Apes was released. Our drug allows the brain to repair itself. Some fans and bloggers described the film as a remake of 1972's Conquest of the Planet of the Apes. But most, including the Internet Movie Database, describe it as a prequel to, this one. as well as a reboot of the original series. Hey, that one's a pain in the ass. He's a specialist. The storyline focused on how a substance designed to help the brain repair itself gives rise to a super-intelligent chimp who leads an ape uprising. <laughs> Again, it featured jaw-dropping special effects by the team at Wetter Digital, and Andy Serkis's performance of Caesar, the lead chimp, was described as mesmerizing in Rotten Tomatoes' critics' consensus. Three years later, a sequel was released, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. By now, the virus that increased the intelligence of the apes has killed most humans and Caesar struggles to maintain peace as the apes are drawn into a war with those who've survived. Apes do not want war! It was met with critical acclaim, matching Rotten Tomatoes' 90% aggregate review score for the original 1968 film. Dawn also bettered the worldwide box office total of the previous film, taking $710 million compared with Rise's 480 million. In War for the Planet of the Apes, the battle against the humans continues as Caesar wrestles with his darker instincts and begins his own mythic quest to avenge his kind. It's a film in which, again, Weta Digital blur the lines between what is and isn't real.